debate trigger, the Novita, a brand new 3D anime style hero based tactical shooter game powered by Unreal Engine 5 is going to be available on all platforms. Hey family, I'm back. And this time, I've got something that might just shake up the Battle Royale scene. If you're tired of the same old BR games, hold on to your mobile because this one could be a game changer, maybe even creating a whole new subgenre. But before I start talking about the gameplay, let me give you the lowdown on who's behind this. So, who's making Fate Trigger? Well, it's being developed by Sasa Studio, and these guys have been quietly working on it for the past three years. I don't know about you, but when a game's been cooking that long, I'm expecting something tasty. Let's hope this upcoming alpha test is as fun as it sounds, because honestly, I'm hungry for a good game. Now, what is Fate Trigger all about? It's a multi-character tactical shooting game where you play as different Awakeners. Yeah, that's right, not heroes, not agents, but Awakeners. These guys are summoned by a mysterious group called the Eye of Origin to take part in trials on a floating island. No pressure, right? But seriously, what's an Awakener in this world? An Awakener is someone who wakes up before the alarm goes off. Well, kind of. They sync up with something called Gen Link, which gives them powers. But here's the catch. They need a steady supply of source to keep their newfound abilities running, or things get complicated. So, these Awakeners take part in trials to stay juiced up. Long story short, the game's heroes are called Awakeners, and they're basically walking batteries. As you play, you'll learn more about these Awakeners from all over the world, level up with them, and slowly uncover the mysteries of the trials, the Eye of Origin, and, you know, the whole why am I on a floating island? Thing. Oh, and the story is cool and all, but let's be honest. Who really plays Battle Royale games for the story? Now, let's get into the good stuff. The gameplay. Fate Trigger takes place in an aerial battle royale with third org to three islands to explore, starting with Vasta City. More maps are coming soon. There are seven Awakeners, aka heroes, and each has multiple abilities. Not just one cool trick, but more than one. I'll save those details for the next video. The devs seem to know what we want from a shooter. Tight, satisfying combat. They're focused on delivering high-quality core shooting mechanics, and they're combining a short time to kill, like in Warzone, with tactical skills which should make strategy even more important. The roles are broken down into Assault, Recon, Support, and Defense, so everyone can play to their style. But that's not all. They've added fun stuff like easy resurrection methods, unique vehicle skills, and firearm upgrade chips. So there's plenty to sink your teeth into. Honestly, I want to play this game right now. Now, let's talk about a serious problem in shooter games. Cheaters. We've all been there, just trying to have a good time and BAM! You run into someone cheating like it's their job. I don't get why people do this, and let's not even mention the streamers who get caught red-handed and then hit us with excuses. Thankfully, the devs are on it. They're already working with top anti-cheat teams before the game even launches. Finally, a fair fight, what a dream! So, that's all the info I've got on Fate Trigger for now. In the next video, I'll dive deeper into the Awakeners, the Alpha Test, and how you can join in on the fun. Until then, stay tuned. Time to walk the cloud. I'm one with the waves.